Hey guys, this is uh, Geeky Rocket bringing you uh, update number three, finally for uh, for my 88 millimeter Flak 36 project. Uh, where I left off last time was basically just finishing up uh, the gun cradle along with the gun itself. But uh, now, as you can see, uh, the Flak uh, 36 is now basically all complete, sitting on uh, the stabilizing structure is also finished as well as uh, implementing or, or assembling the gun shield so as it stands the, the gun itself is, is done and I'll give you guys a closer look at that uh, men's detail I am, I am I can't say enough good things about how much detail uh, Dragon has put into this kit and the way it's engineered actually is uh, you basically can have this uh, almost like a toy uh, model where everything is moving and, and operating as it would in real life. Uh, however, the only thing that kind of gets in the way of full operation of this scale model is, I guess, maybe if you would grease the equal liberators or if uh, the hole or where these weights would sit in the actual sleeves. If that was drilled out just a little bit more to allow uh, sliding or uh, ease of movement, uh, you would actually I could actually tilt this entire gun up and the equilibrators or the weights would slide out just as they would in real life. So uh, again, this is I haven't glued this in place yet. Uh, the gun to to the structure itself or the base, but uh, as you can see, even the gun traveling lock is operational that is able to uh, operate just as it would in real life but uh, again for the diorama that I'm gonna have it sitting in I will probably eventually glue it, glue it in place just for ease of painting so uh, so it doesn't move around when uh, painting is done because I won't have this uh, sit in or, or I won't have the gun traveling lock in operation it'll be sitting down just like that uh, what else again the build went smoothly uh, no surprises, as you can see, actually, you know what, maybe I will take the gun off, just to show you guys the uh, the structure it sits on. Be very careful. So, there we go. So, again, uh, as you guys may know, I definitely do not build uh, very quickly, and I apologize for uh, the inactivity on my channel, but I do, I have been watching a lot of your uh, channels, or your videos on your channels as, as they come up, so good on all of you, I, I appreciate that you guys are posting regularly, it keeps, keeps me involved and keeps me going, but as you may have noticed, I, I don't build uh, quickly at all, uh, the perfectionism gets the best of me, like, by no means am I a rivet counter, but uh, again, like I will, I fill all the seam lines, everything where there should not be seams. I, I fill, let dry for 24 to 48 hours, and then go ahead and sand. Uh, so that's why you see a lot of white, even on the bottoms, even where you may not necessarily see it. I will add it just, just for my, my own sake and my own peace of mind, actually. But uh, very very minimal photo wedge on this on this kit, which is fine by me. But uh, the photo wedge and metal parts that they do give you adds a ton of realism. Can't say enough about uh, how well Dragon has uh, made this kit. So uh, once uh, once everything is all situated and put together, the only thing left I have to do as of right now is uh, the figure and some of the. Uh, extra stowage and equipment that will be sitting on the diorama itself. I haven't fully decided on how I'm going to have this sitted yet just because I haven't put together the figures uh, yet. But uh, let me get that out of the way. But it's actually, it sits very nicely. I mean like this, this diorama uh, kit was definitely made for not only dragons, I'm sure to me is uh, Flak 88 will sit nicely in this as well, but it's definitely. Actually, let me see if I can get a better view. Sorry for the camera adjustments. But as you can see, there's 
a ton of space all the way around to include figures and any other uh, stowage or ammunition such as rifles, uh, ammunition for the gun itself, oil drums, however however realistic and, and well used you want to make it look. There's definitely a lot of room along the edges of the base for that. And I know Felice is, I don't know if he started his Tamiya 88, but uh, you know, good luck with that. I'm sure that'll turn out uh, spectacular as well. Uh, but uh, as for what's next, I got, uh, as, as you know, as I pointed out before, this kit did come with uh, a figure set. And after closer examination, once I once I got to uh, the figure steps, obviously I haven't started it, but uh, closer examination of the sprue itself, there is actually a lot of flash. And this is the only sprue that came in the kit that actually had, well, there's not a ton of flash, but there is noticeable flash. So, that's no problem. Obviously, uh, just uh, take your hobby knife or some sanding sticks and you'll get rid of that no problem. But uh, other than other than some uh, minor flash uh, that is uh, that is accompanied with the, or attached to the figures themselves, they are very very well detailed for uh, for an older kit. I'm not sure exactly when this figure set came out. I don't know if it was with uh, the the flak itself, the flak kit itself, but. Uh, I think there's actually a different number associated with these figure sets. Yeah, it's two, 275, so, or 6225, or 75, sorry. Wow, can't even speak right now. But, uh, again, well, well, well detailed figures uh, for, for what it's worth, so I can't wait to get a start on that. And then I will be adding, of course, other stowage that came with... Uh, with the kit itself, so I'm gonna have uh, am ammunition boxes, as well as well as ammunition just around uh, the base to make it uh, as well used and authentic as possible. And here's some more. I guess these are like almost like wicker wicker basket ammunition cases that actually come with ammunition molded inside already. So that that is what I will be tackling next. And then uh, it should be good to go for uh, for priming, which again, priming may take a little bit longer just just for uh, the time I have uh, now, getting into uh, Christmas time and whatnot. Uh, I do have a retail job, still looking for a career job. So with retail, Christmas time is always chaotic, and uh, the the work I do is very uh, physically demanding because uh, I, I do work in a warehouse so I'm always moving skids around boxes and whatnot so I'm always a little a little tired when I come home so during the week of course anyways and then weekend I obviously have uh, other plans and stuff with family and friends so hopefully I will uh, get going on uh, speeding this up a little bit it has dragged out a little bit but uh, again it's the nature of our hobby it's not a job it is what we do in our spare time so, uh, as for that, oh, I do want to kind of give a shout out for uh, Felice uh, Bars Barcenonensis. Uh, he is going to be starting up uh, Kelly Heroes group build, so looking forward to that. Hopefully I can join that. I do plan on joining it. Uh, I think it starts in the new year. So if you haven't checked out his channel or checked out his video on, uh, on that group build announcement, please do. And another uh, group build I want to uh, give a shout out for is Alex's uh, group build. I, I want to thank you for letting me join the Nashorn group build. We'll definitely look uh, forward to that. Uh, and as well as uh, his Operation Husky group build. So hopefully hopefully that uh, does go through. Because I, I definitely have been thinking a lot about it. And I have uh, a few kits in mind that I'll, I'll have to pick up for but uh, or pick up online and uh, but I, I, I'm definitely excited for that one as well so again I've been trekking along with my Yog Tiger build as well and uh, actually I may I'm, I think I might make another uh, a video on uh, some of the kits I've accumulated since my last stash update so that'll be summer and getting into fall kits that I picked up again uh, I only 
buy online just because I don't have a hobby shop close to me so I always look for sales and I uh, implore you guys to do the same you know working and I mean this isn't our career jobs this is we don't get paid for this so whenever there's sales on definitely pick something up try not to pay full price for because again this is what we do on the side so this is uh, just one of those things but uh, anyways enough rambling enough uh, talking about uh, or waffling on as you guys uh, say so uh, thanks for thanks for watching again and uh, I'll be back with another update hopefully soon hopefully I'll the next update will be kind of the gun in place where where I'm gonna have it permanently along with all the figures mocked up so hopefully it'll be a quick little update next time I uh, show you guys where I'm at and again thanks for watching uh, keep modeling and uh, cheers